Hello, I'm Brian Tracy, and today I want to talk to you about the essential pillars of personal development. Knowing what areas you excel in and which areas you could improve in is very useful for your personal and professional life. Personal development is the process of improving yourself through conscious habits and activities. We pursue personal growth to enhance our quality of life and achieve our dreams and aspirations. Personal development is a process that takes time and effort, as well as patience with yourself. If you set a goal, make a plan, and work on it every day, you will see progress in every aspect of your personal and professional life, and sometimes far faster than you can imagine. Today, I'm going to share seven essential pillars of personal development with you. I know that if you focus on all seven of these key areas, you'll be able to grow and reach your goals faster than you may have thought possible. The first pillar is personal skills. Personal skills are areas of expertise you were either born with or have practiced and perfected or want to perfect. You may have heard them called soft skills in a workplace setting. They're skills like being dependable, uh, a problem solver, uh, motivated, uh, adaptable, uh, hardworking, uh, collaborative, innovative, respectful, intuitive, dynamic, creative. These are all essential skills for you to have to be successful. Knowing what areas you excel in and which areas you could improve in is very useful for your personal and professional life. Now, think about what personal skills you exemplify now and which ones could use improvement. How will you share your skills with others? What will you do to master new ones? The second essential pillar is personal growth. Personal growth is bettering yourself, stepping out of your comfort zone, focusing on becoming a better version of yourself. As humans, our minds are constantly evolving. Your job is to always be a better version of yourself today than you were yesterday. Really think about what areas of your personal life you want to improve and then take action every day to make those changes. The third essential pillar of personal development is personal power. Personal power is being connected and supported by people and money. Surrounding yourself with peers, friends, and family who have like-minded goals and are willing to help you uh, can directly affect how successful you become. Developing an ever-widening circle of contacts increases the number of open doors for you. Money in the bank provides freedom and the ability to take full advantage of certain opportunities when they present themselves. When you have financial freedom, you have more room to work on your personal development. How do you want to increase your personal power? The fourth essential pillar is personal improvement. Personal improvement stems from good work habits and a positive mental attitude. Thinking before you act is critical to developing good work habits. Set priorities on a list and consider the likely consequences before beginning. Maintaining a positive mental attitude will reduce the amount of time it takes you to achieve your goal. Could you improve your positive mental attitude? Have you identified your top priorities, those things that have a lasting effect in your life instead of temporary pleasure? And do they get the most attention in your day? Next is this fifth essential pillar, personal empowerment. Promoting a positive image and creativity within your daily life can speed up the time it takes you to achieve your goals and boost your personal empowerment. Creative thinking means continually looking for faster, better, easier, and cheaper ways to get the job done. It's important to constantly challenge yourself to learn and grow. 
Use creative thinking to achieve your goals and empower yourself. Think of the areas of your life that cause you frustration or worry or disappointment. How can you use creative thinking to empower yourself to improve these areas? The sixth essential pillar of personal development is personal analysis. It's very important to be conscious of areas in which you are naturally gifted as well as analyze areas in which you need improvement. Being truthful about where you currently stand is the first step to moving forward. You should be constantly evaluating where you stand today in relationship to achieving your goals and ambitions in the future. Where do you personally need improvement? Be honest with yourself to propel yourself forward. The last essential pillar of personal development is personal objectives. Ambition goes to waste when there are no clear goals in sight. Developing short-term and long-term goals are a pivotal step. Clearly, set these goals for yourself. Having a set plan will help you to have a clear understanding of what strategies are necessary in order to reach your desired destination. What are your goals? What's your plan to reach them? And how can you hold yourself accountable as well as reward yourself for successes? Now that you know the seven essential pillars of personal development, you can create a winning strategy to progress toward becoming your very best self. Download my free personal development plan template to help you to get started. Now, I'd love to hear from you. So my question today is, which personal development pillar do you feel inspired to begin working on today? Leave a comment below and I'll be sure to follow up with you. If you enjoyed this video and feel it was valuable in teaching you about personal development pillars, Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to click the button on the screen for a free gift. Thanks again for watching.